YouTube, come right here about going up, but but banger, you know what I'm saying? Welcome back to the Come Records Wings, episode six of season two, you know what I'm saying? Today's video is um called Dear Mom for Mother's Day, so make sure you smash that like button, subscribe and new and turn notification bell to all the videos. With that being said, make sure you comment Mother's Day in the comment section below as well as leave the best moment that you had on Mother's Day with your mom as well. It's called Dear Mom's Warning, this might be emotional, so See, so yeah, just make sure you grab a tissue box in case it gets too emotional for you. Also, once I'm done with this video, make sure you leave your favorite part of the video as well for this as well. So, without further ado, let's get this going. It's called Dear Mom once again. It'll be on my website in the description below. So, without further ado, let's get it. Mom, I'm standing here watching you take your last breath. Tears running down my face at a fast rate. Mom, there's so many things I remember you had did for me. Um, while you're still he still breathing and here with me in the hospital bed that you lay in, that's where I miss about your injury. Mom, I'm what are you two? Quinn Mark here to give you guys a little announcement. Uh, season two of Quinn Mark Expense is coming kind of soon, so if y'all know anyone that can do animations or y'all know how to do animations, I'll leave my email in the links below for you guys as well. The deadline's coming up soon, so I'll leave that in the description box for you guys below as well. So this is your boy Quinmark. Leave those animation guys. Thank you all for this little special short announcement. Do you have any questions for an upcoming Quinmark? Explains episode the QA edition. Make sure you leave in the comment section below as well as the socials are linked below. So, yeah, leave those questions, guys. Yeah, shared. I remember you birthed me in the Mississippi hospital. I remember you told me I didn't have a father because he had left you as soon as you announced you were pregnant with me. When he had left. You had to feel the duties of both a mother and father should be doing together. I remember you held me in your arms when I came out of your womb. The beauty of your eyes was, were so sweet and genuine, full of life and innocence. Happiness and joy that you brought me to this world. You gave me this wonderful name, Lenore, because you remember what cool grandpa was. Mom, um, you're not only the pioneer of my life, but I'm fresh your mother for you as well. You had to, uh, he had to fill in both your role and what dad was supposed to do. I'm generally grateful for having you. You're always there. Watch my games every day. You never missed a game. I mean, those hard night nights after work. I come home with positive state of mind and emotion because you had seen my face. As I grew older, I remember you calling me the man of the house. You had to tell me I was in charge and I was responsible for anything that couldn't be in your control. I remember you had given me some of Grandpa's memorabilia from his baseball mitt that I wore every game to his golden clock and watch that had been our family in our family for many generations. Mom, I remember you were always there. When I graduated middle school, high school, and college, you were there when I mar married Captain Jones, the girl that you allowed me to bring over to do homework and study together. Mom, you had never let me down. You were always there through the good and dark times. Even in the darkest times, I had always looked up to you because you were that light that bring me out of that dark hole. Mary, you were doing several things for me, and the far void that you were stretching over was filled by you. All those years of hard work and dedication you had for me will never be forgotten. Now looking at the present day and seeing you suffering from so much pain and distress, here you go through it all with Dr. Sanders and I think you can do to help fix this. I do remember saying that you were a believer of God that everything was going to be okay. You're now 79 years old, Mom, and the Lord has big plans for you. In heaven, I can feel it in my heart, so in mine. Mom, I want you to know that I always love you and that you will always be with me through spirit. As I finish, remember every, all the things you have done for me. I grabbed your hand, and this time there was no any emotion to it. And tears began to fall down my face at a fast rate. The devastation that I felt at that very moment had me feeling numb and emotionally 
emotional because she had did everything for me. Now she's up in heaven looking down at me. I do have to make her proud and do what's right for her. So that was, that was your mom, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and you turn the notification bell to other videos. Make sure you comment on your best Mother's Day moment with your mom if you have one. Comment Mother's Day for not getting shout out. And also leave me some Q&A questions for uh, Queen Mark Q&A Queen, Queen uh, edition of Queen Mark Explains coming up soon. So this has been your boy Queen Mark with another bu bu banger, you know what I'm saying? Uh, episode 6 or episode 7 will be in July. Until next time, peace out.